Hi, I'm Mr. Sim Gamer. And I'm Farmer Sim. And welcome back to our co-op multiplayer series on this beautiful court farms. How are you today, Farmer Sim? Hello, Mrs. SG. I'm all right. Thank you, love. How are you? Wonderful. Wonderful. I just love this golden sky. It is just delicious. It's rather nice, isn't it? This is uh, this is relight at uh, at one of its finest points. The relight mod that we've got running on this uh, on this server. It's just it it really does work. It makes it makes the darks quite dark in when they're in the shadowy areas. But yeah, the 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 mornings and stuff. It's uh, it's lovely. It's just beautiful, isn't it? it very autumnal. Is. Or very yes, it certainly is. Yeah. So. How are you though, mate? Are you okay. Very good, very good. I'm excited to share with everybody where we ended off last time. Oh yes, money wise. Money, money, money. Should we, money. Sh should we show our? Let, should we show our huds? There you go. Done. We have now two hundred and eight thousand pounds. How about <laughs> that? All pretty much from tatties. That was uh, everything was sold, mm -hmm. and yeah, the majority of that was the good old tats. It was, yeah, um, we did uh, we did pretty well out of that one, mate. It didn't we? Mm -hmm. it, it, I was surprised. I'll be honest with you. I didn't think that was going to make that much money, but with the self marketing mod, yep. we made a much bigger margin, which really helped boost that bank balance. Thank the Lord for mods, shall we? Because that was yes, yeah, brilliant. Thank and the mod gods. Thank the mod gods. Absolutely. Yeah. Th do you know what? That's why my brain kind of stopped for a second there, because I was. Th I, that's the kind of thing I wanted to say. Thank you the were, mod you gods. You were trying to think of something funny, but you had to yeah. rely on me instead. I had to rely on. Just there you go. Hey. Eh? Does not happen often. <laughs> You've been on the wit pills this morning, have we, Mrs. SG? Oh yeah. This morning. <laughs> it's quarter past seven at night. <laughs> no, I know. It takes a few hours for them to kick in, doesn't oh, it? Oh, it takes a few hours for them to kick in, yeah, that's true. I get smart around seven PM. <laughs> yeah. And then you're asleep by eight, so you've only got a window of about an hour. <laughs> I've got an hour of pure gold and this yeah, is yeah. the hour. <laughs> comedy gold, comedy gold. Comedy gold. But uh, but yeah, so, so that that uh, that yield. Obviously, I know we've I know this is an element of repeating ourselves here, but that, that that yield of potatoes came from a completely unprepared potato field of which we are stood in now, which looks yep. quite horrifically uh, weedy and uh, overgrown. So that's uh, that's going to be my task for the start of today, isn't it, mate? You're going to go and uh, fertilise and lime the grass field that uh, that I was scraping round in last week, aren't you? Yes, I'm going to give you a break from field six. I feel like you've been there for too long. So. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but what have we got now, though? What have we got now that we didn't have last week that I really could have had done with last week? Oh, yes. Course play. Course play. We've got course play. Finally, the wonderful people who make course play have... Uh, I think it was actually a couple of weeks old, but they'd released a fix in one of the latest updates for course play. Um... And that's the reason why it didn't work for us on multiplayer when we were trying to get this thing up and running. Um, we was we still had the version that didn't quite work properly on multiplayer. So they released that hot fix for it. I downloaded it, put it onto the server. Boom, it works. So mod gods, mod gods, yet again coming to save the day. So next time we have to run that leveling board in that grass field that is getting firmly thrown onto a course play, and we should go. We can go and. Uh, well, we can just sit do, down do at the side of, else instead. Sit and have a cup of tea at the side of the field and just watch it work if we had to, because uh, because course play. That's why. Because course play. Yes. That's all we need to say. That's all we need to um, say. So I am going to go in. What tractor are you going to use today, buddy? I don't know. I think I, I'm the first job I'm going to do in here, mate, is I'm going to run the plough. So I could do with something with a little okay. bit of grunt. So I think I'm going to jump in my wonderful Massey, I think. Um, I'm going to pick up the plough, I'm going to scrape this top level off this field, turn the soil over, uh, and then I'm yep. going to run the cultivator, and then it's already, the pH values and nitrogen values are all perfect in here uh, at the minute, so we don't really need to do any uh, any nourishment of the soil, we just need to nice. get it ready for a potato planting, which I think is April, so we, we are still a couple of months off, but it's... Uh, it's good to be prepared. Get it squared away and... Get it uh, boxed off, yes. Yeah, also, rather than using herbicide, it's a good it's a good thing, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. We want chemical-free fields if we can help it, so 
Um, yep. Yep, we've got the lime on there. We get that. The yard together? Let's go and have a wander, mate. Yes, let's do it. Although we can't, we haven't got very good peripheral vision on this game. But yes, let's uh, take a wander. <laughs> I'll walk sideways. <laughs> You're walking. So yeah, let's let's uh, sidestep. Sidestep. Side sidestep. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all these wonderful bales as well. Beautifully stacked farmer sim. Well, thanks, mate. There was a. It took a while squeezing them in there. I'll be honest. Although that was a. It was actually quite um, relaxing. Because I said to you, I said to you at the end of that episode that we recorded, and I said, "I oh, don't worry about that, mate. I'll uh, I'll jump on tomorrow or the next day, and I'll uh, I'll tidy up those bales because you know I like a bit of a bit of a practice with the uh, with the bale bale fork." Um, I'll tell you what, there's something I've got. A f I've got some funny movement on my in my character at the moment. I I'm sure there's some kind of server lag here. Oh, there we go. It's gone. That you was... just dashed past me like you were uh, the Flash. <laughs> really. Um, no, it's, as I'm walking about, uh, as I'm moving forward, it's like the screen's shaking a bit. It's a bit weird. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. I know, yeah. Um, oh, there's the plough. I'm walking around looking for the plough. It's right next to me. i tell you one thing we do need to buy, my friend. Go, go, go. What, we, what do we need to buy? some form of washing device. Ah. Pressure washer or anything like that, because these are now starting to get a bit brown. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you know what, mate? Looking at our bank balance, I'm going to hazard a guess and say, do you know what? We can afford it. I think um, we can afford one. I think we can. Um, should we treat ourselves? Ooh, I should think so, yes. I don't think we've got many mods installed. Missy Missy B has a, a jet washer mod thing that I've got. It's like a big car should jet washer. It does the same job. It sprays water over machinery and makes the mud go away. Um... I don't think we've got it installed on this. So we might just have to use the base game stuff. Um, shall I? Uh, shall I? Shall I dig in and have a look? Shall I? Yeah, plonk, plonk it in a good. Maybe over here, actually, so we could just drive by and. Okay, where are you? Hurry up! Oh, by the wall here. Right in front of you. Yeah. Well, I'm. Um... Okay, I'll place it. You wouldn't. Re you wouldn't reverse back and. Oh no, you're. I was working. in. No, no. Go on. Go on. Cheers, dude. No, you're I'm welcome. Go get Sorry. Some more lime. I just abandoned my tractor here, didn't I? Right, okay, there you go. Um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll move myself out of the way and I will... I'll, I'll tell you, shall I place... I'll place the the jet washer in the yard. In, um, in the, yeah, wherever you feel is best. In the... Where, in fact, where you are there, actually. I'll place it next to the pile of logs, the decorative logs that's just kind of there. And then... Yeah. There we go. Place, you know, oh, yeah, in. that's perfect. We have a jet washer, mate. Woohoo! We can clean our stuff. I wonder, actually, if I can be cheeky enough to load line through the walls. Yeah, you should, yeah, you, you, you can do. You can do that. It does work. You should do. Feels wrong, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. so right at the same time. <laughs> No, I know what you mean, mate. I know what you mean. Um, I'll tell you what, though, annoyingly, I don't know what it is, but for some reason I've been looking forward to getting into this field and getting it ploughed under, ready to go again. And as much as I want to go, oh, we've got course play, and what I would ordinarily do is just get on course play and get it done. But I'm not going to. I'm going to do it all by hand, myself. I, I think... We'll, we'll only use course play and multiplayer for things which are a little bit boring. Big things, yes. Big, all oh, big things. Big things that are going to take hours and hours. Yes, yeah. This uh, this isn't a particularly big field. It's not a particularly big plough either, but it's... Uh, I like these square-shaped ploughs. They're so much easier than using the the, the original, or th like the, the offset ones that we've all been used to. They really are. Those base game offset ones are yes. a nightmare. Yeah, they're a bit frustrating, yeah. aren't they? But um, anyway, there we go. I suppose it's the way it's supposed to be. It is. It is. It just... Uh, it's mainly for field creation. You, you know when you want to make your own field? Um, yeah. Having one of those ones is quite difficult to, to get a nice neat shape, whereas if you've got a nice oh, gosh, yes. square one like this, it's uh, it does the job just fine. I know exactly what you mean, my friend. Yeah, yeah. 
So, okay, uh, I think that's all of our bags. All of our bags of lime? Yeah. We've oh, that's got a good plenty point. of fertiliser, though, so right, okay. we'll, I'll come back and get the fert once I've done the lime orbs. How much lime have you got in your tank? 84%. Oh, okay. You might have enough. Oh, I don't know, actually. It's a big field, isn't it? I don't it? know. It's no. a big field, and I don't think we've done anything to it. No, yet, we haven't. So this will be its first dose. Oh, we're going to need to buy many more bags of lime, I think. Shall we? Um... I think it's going to be thirsty. Yeah. I'll be honest. I don't think we're going to get away with it lightly. No, no. Well, what I'll do, when, when I get to this corner here, I will... Um... Whereabouts are you, actually? I can't... Oh, the there moment, you are. You're still I am in there. just cleaning. Ah! Making good use of our new jet washing machine. Yeah, I wish um, it was this easy in real life. Spray one it, side and it's clean all over. It is, Mrs. Sim Gamer. I'm a detailer. I wash cars for a hobby. It is that I'm easy. Not, <laughs> I'm not sure I've washed a car. In, I know, says I you know who had a courtesy wash on your last car's recall. <laughs> I don't know why they insist on putting it on, like the invoice. So that they, you're, you're reminded of their of their helpfulness. I tell you what, the only thing that Land Rover are good at is giving you very, very, very large bills. Oh, so I been, can imagine quote, that. Yeah. I've been quoted for brake hoses, oh, brake go on. fluid. Yeah. And a oil filter, oil change. Guess how much? So brake hoses. That's a big. That's a big job because that's got a lot of time involved in it. You've gone the wrong way there, mate, haven't you? This way. Yeah, I have gone the wrong way. <laughs> I'll go through. This I'll is wait not. Wait the campers up. Honk, honk, honk. <laughs> this is not the way. <laughs> this um, is not the way. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, okay, so brake hoses. That's a big job because. That's yeah. quite labour intensive. Um, and what was the other one? There was brake hoses. Um, brake fluid. Brake fluid. Well, that's brake fluid. Okay, so they'll probably put two hundred percent onto the, onto a, what? I don't know how. Oil. Many, an oil, oil change. Oil change and oil filter. Okay, so oil's quite expensive. I take it yours will probably take, I don't know, more than five liters. But you're probably looking about fifty quid for the oil maybe a bit more an oil filter should be around a tenner maybe 15 20 quid but they'll probably charge you 100 yeah. for it um, yeah easy and break it's the brake hoses that's going to add to that but i'm going to i'm going to jump in and i'm going to say for all that work that's most of a day two and a half grand well no no 750 oh and I thought that was expensive. Well, it is expensive. It's a lot of money, but I was just trying to... I was... Uh, trying to be dramatic. Trying to be dramatic, but trying to think, yeah, someone's milking somebody here, so... Yeah, two and a half... Well, okay. We have we have a issue with our service light, anyway. The the light... <laughs> it keeps coming keeps on. Keeps coming on. <laughs> yeah, there's something wrong with the light. Will you please remove the light bulb so that it stops coming on? <laughs> Stop doing it. Um, we, we think it needs either a software update or some modules changing out. Okay. And they want to charge us 250 quid for an hour's diagnosis <laughs> and then for whatever it's going to cost to do it. Oh, do you know what? Yeah, I, I do that. I've, luckily, I've got me and my friends were all into cars. My friends have uh, two of my best friends have a, a workshop. They they build and race prep cars, and they have a dyno down there that they dyno cars on uh, performance cars, rally cars, um, race cars, and they have all the equipment, the computers, and the software. So I can go down there and go, oh, my, my, my engine warning lights come on, or, or my, my whatever lights come on. And I can just go down there, plug in this computer, and go, boom, 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 gone, done brilliant yeah that's 250 quid not spent um oh. why am i stood why in the field watching you go around oh i'm i'm <laughs> i'm just i'm just I, i've just been plowing starting to plow the field and i've just realized i've got out of my tractor and come to watch you line <laughs> um no I, I was gonna i've come to uh place down the um shop thing the, the store deliveries and park you some bags of lime in the field um, oh yes. How much do you, you want to do an area where I'm not? Oh yeah, I suppose I could just lime around it. Yeah. Um, I'm down to thirty-three percent. Not done a full loop yet. Right. I'm gonna 
we're going to need to buy you a considerable amount a of bags of lime. Yes, so I'm going to... Excuse me. Um, where are we? Right, big bags, lime. We're going to have... I'll put you 16 down for now. Yes, so that's... Dude. Yeah. Because uh, I reckon you're going to need it. Yeah, there you go. So the shit that where the lime bags are there in the middle of the field, hopefully not in your way. Um, that's where the store deliveries thing is down at the minute. So if you, I, I'm assuming it should Quite work the same for you. If you can, it. yeah, you can just buy it and they'll they'll land there. But uh, thanks so much. I will. You're very be welcome. Going to get it very soon. Mm. I'm now going to go and crack on with my plowing. Um, Enjoy. So seven hundred quid. That's not too bad, mate. To be honest, I know it's. Don't get me wrong. I'm not. Uh, I'm certainly not money bags here. I know that that is a lot of money. Um, but considering it's a dealership, it is a Land Rover dealership. It's not just like a a garage. Yeah. Well, I think we're going to go to an approved dealership now to look at the service situation, because I've taken it to a normal person back street dealership a garage um, back mean. street garage oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah and they haven't been able to resolve the situation well oh they haven't been able to resolve what nope they can't switch the light off they can't that's switch the light them, off yeah that's what's making them think it's a um a software update or a module modular issue forgive me what what light is it again is it the engine the warning light oh a service no, light service and it doesn't need a service Oh right, sorry. I was thinking that there was it was like a, a warning light or something, and I was gonna I was gonna like uh, no, I was no gonna warning. say the light won't go out because the problem hasn't been fixed. But if it's just a, a service light that I see, right? Okay, it's the light that would be reset after a service. Yeah. Um, and it should just be as simple as going into the diagnostics machine and just telling it to. Um, bloop. Yeah. Yes. yes. How does it go? Not having. Just bloop. <laughs> <laughs> it's not having any of the bloops. It's not, is it? Right, okay, I see. So yeah. I, ha I had some guy, 80, 80 quid plus VAT, to tell me that the bloop didn't work. And he <laughs> tried blooping with three machines. I was like, okay, right. Oh, okay, fair enough. Thanks for that privilege. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, needs must, mate. You need your, uh, you need your car, don't you? Um, yeah, well, I don't... We need Liam's van. I, The car is is more of a... Luxury. So it it is. It's we go around that in the weekends, or if I need to go, if I do need to nip out somewhere, because you know I work from home. Yeah, yeah. Um, but when I didn't have my car, because before this I had the Jag E Pace. I think Jag. I mentioned that before. <laughs> the Jag. And the Jag. Yeah. Um. And I thought, oh no, do you know what? I won't need a car very much. I work from home. It turns out. I needed the car quite a lot. Take the dog to the vets. Take the dog to the groomers. Take the. <laughs> it was normally something to do with the dogs yeah, rather yeah. than me. You'd, um, you'd sell the car and then you'd be like, "But how? You can't walk through a drive-through. I need a car." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so true. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Brilliant. I say it. I say it's a a, a luxury, but I do. I suppose I do use it. And you you only know that you need something until it's not there. Oh yeah, totally. I'm I'm the same. I mean, I I I, I don't know if I told you this or not. I think part of me is saying that we did have a dis discussion way back in the days of Purbeck. Um, but yeah, I've I've well technically now I've got three vehicles. Only two of them you got work. Given one, didn't you? Well, I, I, yeah, I've got my Honda, which was my my car, and then I got given the Golf. Um, and I've also got my camper van. Camper. My, yeah. yeah, but that the camper You've van. You've been working on that, haven't you? Uh, bit by bit. It's going... It's, it's, I've got it booked in now f to have, uh, quite frankly, a ridiculous amount of money spent on it. Um, mm. In hopefully the end of this year, beginning of next, it's going to be completely and utterly restored uh, from wow. the ground up. New paint, new body, new metal, new this, new that. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a full restoration, essentially. That's what it needs. And as much as I'd like to be able to do that myself, I can't weld. I don't have a welder. And I don't have uh, enough garage space to be able to completely redo a 1972 bay window camper van. So I've, uh, I've luckily, 
five minutes down, literally round the back of my, my friend's workshop, who I've just mentioned, um, is another garage, um, and he specialises in uh, air-cooled Volkswagen stuff. He's, he's an MOT garage, cool. but he also um, uh, reconditions all sorts of classic air-cooled Volkswagens. And I promise you, he is the coolest guy in the world. His name's Steve, I love that. but he is a proper. Co- he's a musician. He's in a band, and you've never been to a, gar- a car garage like this. It's a big MOT station where where people take their cars for an MOT. You know, it doesn't matter what it is. You can book it in. You can have tyres fitted. You can have an MOT, a service, whatever. But it's it's the decoration in the garage. It's a really big place, and he's got he's got loads of posters of like Bob Marley all over the wall because he looks like Bob Marley. He's got dreadlocks. <laughs> Um, that's the kind of music his band play. Um, Bit of reggae. Yeah, but it's the it's the most colourful, beautiful workshop. He's got he's got a big uh, mezzanine with drums and old drum kits and stuff all up on the wall, and it's like this is a car garage, dude. This is the best place ever. And he, he, he him and his band, they they jam in there at weekends, on on the top of his office. He's got a great I big sound system, like a big PA system and speakers and mate it's the most incredible thing i went in there to introduce myself and say hi i'm steve i'm going to be your best mate now because i now own a a classic air-cooled volkswagen and i'm going to need your services so he's become my my oracle for all things uh all things camper van and i walked in there and i was like dude this is amazing see (laughs) sorry i just jumped out of the cab for no reason did you just just dismount Get out. Yeah, I, I think you've I think <laughs> I think you sent me a picture and it looked awesome. Again, you need to put a picture on your it's permission obviously. Get a picture on your community post. Oh. A oh, shout out. Well I d- maybe I suppose. Yeah. But it, yeah, it's just, it's just the most incredible place. It for a car garage, it's amazing. Um Yeah. Anyway. Whoopsie. So uh I don't know Very what, cool indeed. I don't know what got me to talking about that. What was I talking about that for? Volkswagen. Um, oh yeah, yeah. So I've got, I've got, I've technically got three cars, and only two of them work, or only two of them are usable, because the the bus needs uh, needs a bit of looking at. It works. It does drive. It's uh, it drives about. It runs. The engine turns on. It's uh, it's all good. But yeah, it just needs a. Uh, a bit of TLC, so it's getting completely redone, and I'm going to. I've got to strip it out before Christmas. I've got to take all the, the camping, part of it out, the bed and the. It's got. It's got like a kitchen in it. It's got a sink and a and a, a cooker and a grill and a. Uh, uh, what else has it got? Lots of electrics that need to be completely replaced. So. It's very very cool. It's hippie. I'm very, it's. I tell you what, I've never really been into camping though. I'm more of a I need You're a, a hotel. shower. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless it's I mean, I'll go down to four stars if I have to. <laughs> that kind of situation. <laughs> oh sorry, darling. <laughs> I remember when I was staying in the, that hotel in Swindon and I was messaging you, wasn't I? And I was like, get me out here. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It smells like ass in here. <laughs> it was awful. Like, what? Why am I here? <laughs> this is not even three stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slumming it, Mrs. Sim Gamer. But slumming it? Oh, yeah. oh my goodness. Mrs. I, Slum I cons- Gamer. I kept on itching. And itching? then it got in my head. You were itching? Oh, well, it was very clean, but you know when you just get in your head like, oh, I feel really itchy and gross. Or you get lice in your head. And then you start itching because oh, the no, bed hasn't been, no, beds I'm... haven't been washed for nine months. Oh no! Dude. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> and also, the thread count was diabolical. The thread count! Oh my God! Listen to you, darling. The thread count. <laughs> oh, it, this is this is a problem. This is oh. a problem in society. Oh, mate! Honestly, you're making my head ache with with smiling so much. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody would be better with a decent thread count. Oh. Egyptian cotton with high thread count. I'm just picturing just... you coming stomping downstairs in your two-star bumhole hotel, <laughs> going, "I'm sorry, the thread count in my pillowcase is absolutely atrocious." <laughs> That's exactly what I would say. I'd be like, where do you keep the good stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll Other happily people ask pe- it for 
<laughs> Everybody asks for other stuff. Where's the good stuff? Yeah. Me? If, if I, I just want the good linen. <laughs> if I pay an extra four pounds a night, can I please have some? Uh, can I please have an extra an extra thirty? Uh, What's the 30. measurement of, of, of thread count? Is it tog? Thread count. Is it tog, or am I getting mixed up with something? I'm not sure. I just buy things with a very high thread count. Yeah, you just look at the price tag, yeah. don't you? you <laughs> Sometimes. The higher the price tag, the more thread count you assume it has. I assume, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if it comes from John Lewis, darling, I know I'm going in the right direction. Oh, mate. <laughs> You've, you haven't lived until he... Port, you bought yourself a seven ninety nine as the double duvet set. Oh, that's the, making me itch thinking about it. Yeah, but then you can you can get your double duvet set, and you can get yourself a, a, a an eight pack of Fanta, um, and a rack of ribs all at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, Good. you're so a I'm, legend. I'm, I I I'm gonna need to educate you in cotton. Educate me in cotton. Yeah. Oh, mate. Thread counts, and it's going to have to happen, I'm afraid. Mate, I only wash once once a month. Don't need to worry about that. I'm joking, obviously. I do. Wash. Actually, talking about washing, your yeah. shower was fixed and not fixed. What's oh, the Oh, the love of God. Honestly, it's just been one thing after another. It's because... Right. Oh, you ever, I'm really going to bore our poor viewers with the, my mundane... Hey, most people... People sitting here watching us farm spread and lime are interested in cars and plumbing. Cars I'm pretty and sure. plumbing and the nightmare that has been my shower over the last three weeks. I'm the Honest. least interested they'll be at any point in this conversation was me talking about five star hotels and thread five counts. Five star so. hotels and thread counts, yeah. <laughs> they probably switched off, so they might not even be hearing this story. So we're well, all that's good. it, yeah, they've all gone now. It's like, oh God, listen to this thread count. <laughs> listen to that idiot. Yeah. Egyptian well, cotton, of, uh... my ass. Um, no, yeah, my shower's knackered. Uh, we got a plumber around. It's a shower that was manufactured. I only know this because I've had to research into it. It's a built-in shower. It's powered off the boiler that's directly behind it. It's not one of these electric ones that are absolutely awful. Um, the shower stopped working, so it's essentially it's got two cartridges either side. It's got a flow cartridge and a thermo cartridge. One controls the heat and the temperature. The other controls the flow of the water. It turns on and off. Yes. You'd, you'd expect you'd expect <laughs> it's that. It's actually quite interesting. Is it? Well, I've learned that my shower has got a bloody gearbox. What? Exactly. There you go. Technically, that's what you call it. It's got a gearbox. It's got splines. It's got cogs. Um, it was manufactured in 1997 by Ideal Standard. It's it's a brilliant shower. It's a power shower, and it, you know when it works, it'll take the paint off a car door. It's it's proper. It's a proper amazing thing. So that's um, why you need to wash once a month because you know it takes up yeah, a layer yeah, of skin. Yeah, because I've got I've <laughs> got to wait for my skin to heal before I can have another one. Um, no, it's 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 a brilliant shower, um, and that's why 97? I'm ninety seven. Yeah. Well, it's been in the house when my mum bought this house. It was in the house when we moved in, which was twenty five years ago. Yeah. He um, doesn't live with his mum, by the way. Everybody. No, I don't I just live. Want to no, point that, point no. that out. We live in my mum. This is my mum's house, but mum yeah, lives second house. Mum lives over there. Literally, she's about 300 yards in the house in what was my grandmother's house, which is directly behind this house, which is quite interesting. Um, yes, so I'm um, I'm I'm not it's letting go of this shower. Sugar. Yes, sugar, coffee, and now when I need a bloody shower, I can just walk through the back garden because because the the gardens it, it is literally the house that's directly behind us. When oh god, I'll, I'll, we used to live in Edinburgh, uh, very much near where the farm sim guy lives now, actually. Um, that's where I was born, and that's where my family come from. Believe it or not, I had a Scottish accent until I was about seven years old. Um, and Can you imagine a little farmer sim? Little farmer sim there, yes, yeah, dotting around on his little bike. Um, yes, um, and my grandmother lived round the corner from us, my mum's mum, and it was my dad's job that brought us down here to Cheshire, where we are now. Strangely enough, where the farm sim guy used to live. He, this yeah, is you where. Swap, didn't you? Yeah, we kind of geographically un completely uh, uncoupled y yeah um obviously i've never met the wonderful man but uh, it was just through happenstance and hearing him talk on his live streams it was like he used to live down here and i used to live up there and now he lives up there and i live down here how very strange um <laughs> but um my dad's job bought us from edinburgh to newcastle upon tyne where we lived for several years and then we moved down here to cheshire and yeah. 
when we and that's where we've been ever since where we are now then my grandmother wanted to be nearer us so she moved from edinburgh where she stayed for many years after we left and coinc- and she bought the house that she that mum, my mum now lives in at the minute and then my mum and dad separated years ago and mum was able to buy the house that was directly behind grand's hence why we have the setup we have now um cool. yeah so essentially i took a fence pan many years ago we took a a fence panel out from the back of the garden so I can essentially walk out of my back walk out of my back door down into, in, into, door. into the ga- into the garden this. and into mum's garden and into her back door so I can that's my first point of call before I need to worry about going to the shop to get more sugar or coffee or to have a shower for the last it's a bit two like weeks. everybody loves Raymond have you ever watched that program oh it's I've not seen it for years but uh, Ray Romano yeah with his uh he's got a particularly annoying voice but yes I know uh yeah he always sounds like he's got a little bit of a cold he's got a bit of yeah I can't do an impression of him but yeah he's got it's the yeah I do I, it was always that was like that was always on every day at like four or five o'clock wasn't it it was Am I remember yeah. correctly yeah um, but of course his parents lived across the road but I'm, I'm pretty sure your mum isn't as annoying as what his mum was although <laughs> I, think, I think both the actors possibly passed now the, the parents but I, I love that show yeah I'm, that I'm, just made me think of that show yeah yeah I'm trying to think now that TV show that in the UK anyway there was something I never used to sit down and watch it but I always used to watch it because something I wanted to watch was after it and I can't think what it was. You ever get that? It's like, you know, I, I think it was yeah, all, like whenever you want when to watch. When streaming wasn't a thing. When streaming wasn't a thing, when you had to... You when had you, to sit down and yeah, watch things there was to an, schedule. Yes, there was no recording, there was no hard drive in your TV. It was just, it was press a button on the TV to wait for the, to, to change channels. Wait for, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, that. That. That, yes. Um, this technology moved on so fast. Do you know what I know? But now, interestingly, the, like obviously we're, we're all no stranger to a box set and to Netflix and to streaming and all that nonsense. It's like you know certain TV shows, certain companies. I think I think Netflix do this. I don't think Amazon do it. In that a TV show will get released in its entirety at the same time, so you can sit there and watch what has taken hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people months and months to months even years to create and you can binge it all in an afternoon you know it's, it's a bit like a roast dinner it takes, people, it takes one person hours to make and yeah. then it's gone in five minutes gone in minutes yes exactly yes that's a good, good uh, comparison actually yeah um but it's uh, amazing isn't it it is yeah but i i've i mean i suppose maybe it's my age but i actually now prefer the the weekly release thing you know, because it, it makes it's me... It's more authentic. Yes, it feels more authentic, but it's more of just being a grumpy old bugger, really, and going, oh, like they used to. I prefer having that you time to, to wait. wait. Yeah, so you get to enjoy one episode of a TV show, and you get to then think it, it makes you... I mean, you know, it's, yes, it's a TV show, it's not, like, massively important, but if it's something you really enjoy, you'll, you know, you'll think about it, and you, you'll, you, it'll give you time to digest... What What's just ha- happened? Yeah, instead of just yeah, going, right, where's the, where's the next one? Where's the next one? Where's the next one? Um, but Apple anyway. TV are a one a weeker. Yes, they are. They are. And they've got they've got some brilliant shows, haven't they? Oh, my gosh. I'm obsessed. Yes, there's some uh, there's some good stuff. Invasion's just finished, actually, a couple of weeks ago, the season two. Yeah, I've, I've got one more to watch of that. Oh, have you? We were just... Um, um, we just finished off billions before our sky got cut off so we've we've we now no longer have like sky through satellite we've decided uh, to just say nah no more that's um, quite expensive that though isn't it so expensive so we've just got now tv for my husband's sport sport because yeah. he likes football and f1 and uh-huh yeah um Golf, obviously. Golf, spoiling a perfectly golf. good walk. Yes, he <laughs> loves his golf. Yeah, yeah. Well, he got that from his uncle who passed away. So ah, is that where I the think it's love of golf now, came from? Yeah, that's where his golf love for golf come from. Ah. Um, 
And my dad also has the login, so he watches, he loves F1, and he actually, for many, many years, even from when Lou was a kid, has always been a fan of NFL. Oh, really? So, yeah, he's always been a supporter of Miami Dolphins, and so is my sister. She's a supporter of Miami Dolphins. <laughs> so, sorry, that just makes me think of Ace Ventura, Miami Dolphins. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> and so they're... Here's no point. Louise used to do this thing called the touchdown wheel. I'm going to embarrass her now when she was a really young kid in her nappy. Yeah. And when they, when the Miami Dolphins did a touchdown, she used to do this like wiggle dance. It's very <laughs> cute, apparently. <laughs> so every time we talk about NFL, we always talk about that. So Brilliant. yeah, my dad likes watching NFL. Okay, nice, nice. Um, uh, yeah. But now you so you've saved money on your uh, Sky TV subscription, so I yes, suppose you can, you can now splash out on a higher thread count bed set, can't you? Can't get any higher than what I've got, darling. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got? What? Oh goodness me, really? Oh, I don't know. I I'm, I think it's about three thousand. Three thousand thread it count. It sounds like a lot, set. but I bet you can get much more. Is it like, what is it, like Egyptian cotton or something? Is that Egyptian what it is? Cotton. Or is it like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 100%. I mean, being completely uneducated and naive in the world of thread count, um, is, is, is silk a high thread count or is that entirely different? Um, well, I'm not sure because I actually don't like sleeping in silk. Oh, it's horrible. So, it's I've like, never. Yeah. So I've never tried. It's like sleeping in a plastic bag. It's horrible. Oh Right. You know, you see these TV programs, and somebody's got silk bed covers. Yeah. And they're wearing silk, like, silk pajamas. It's sliding or... around all over the place. So you get in bed and slide right off. Yeah, like a wet bar of soap. Just, just off. Jump in one side right. and fly out the other and bang your head on the corner of a table it and is... spend the night in casualty with concussion. I don't know how they do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're like superhuman, these people. You need some bloody pajamas with some grip on. That's what you need. Absolutely. <laughs> with a bit MS of special. MS friction pajamas. Yes. Jump in bed, stay there. Stay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't but slide off and injure yourself. I have had, um, like everybody, you tr try silk bed covers once in your life. Never. And it no. It was an absolute no no for me. Really? Oh, I just just makes no sense to me. No, I, 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 I've never tried silk bed covers because I'm just not that way inclined, but I don't think I've ever been to a place that can present with silk bed covers. It's like, what? But I've felt them, I know what they feel like, and it's like, it's like a sandwich bag. It's like what you put a butt, it's like, there's no, it's, it's smooth and it's like, nah. God damn it. It makes no sense, I'd does rather, it? I'd rather have an 80 grit sandpaper mattress than bloody silk. It's, uh, but that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I give it, Oh my goodness, yeah. The, your description of like soap, wet soap, like sliding. Yeah. That's just. A, oh God, no, gone. gone. Slip, <laughs> sliding off. No, thank you. Oh my goodness. I tell you what. <laughs> I reckon if we had one of those um, like conversation starter games next to us. A what? Whilst we're playing. A well, you know, you can you can get all these games now like board games and things like that where okay. you have like different subjects and you have to talk about it oh have you not heard about those I, I i think i know what you mean but yeah are you referring to the the, the variants of the topics of our conversation this episode so far yeah. i'm like we could literally talk about anything we'd win is that what we're trying we'd to win. say we'd win that particular game we would win that game so hard. <laughs> We'd win it so hard, yeah, yeah, we would. Um, we would ace it. <laughs> yeah, we, we ace probably Ventura would. Pet Detective. Oh, do you know what? I used to love that film. Oh, it's so cool Jim, in its Jim day. Carrey's an absolute... I know, it really was. It, it, I used to literally Oops. wet myself laughing at that film. It was just... Uh, it was a classic, it really is. He's an absolute legend, that man. He is an absolute legend. I changed mm. my mind on what direction I wanted to go and did it very poorly. Oh, how are you getting on, actually? Oh, it's a, it's a field of white. Is it all done? It is all done. How did you I'm get on amount-wise? You did the perfect amount bar two bags, believe it or not. Really? Yep. That was a good guesstimate. So 
Wow. That was a very good guess. Well, that'll do. That so will I do. I am now running Furt in here. Just getting the... Uh, Are you in the field still? Just getting the spreader down now. Just oh, okay. Lovely. Very good. Well, I'm just about to finish my last, hopefully, my last little strip in the middle. The field's got a bit, a bit of a Brazilian here. Just getting rid of it. Um, oh, I've missed a bit there. It's getting a bit wider towards the end. Don't they all? <laughs> Steady. <laughs> um. <laughs> Honestly. Oh. Family channel, oh. Mrs. Sim Gamer. Family channel. Family channel. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure what kids want to listen to us talk well, about. <laughs> It, de it depends on the family plumbing. though, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, that was it. Yeah, I didn't actually finish that conversation telling you about my goddamn shower. But yeah, it's. Um, I've, yes. I've, I've, we. I found a place. So so anyway, the shower broke. It stopped working. Yeah. I spat my dummy out because I couldn't have a shower, um, and I contacted my plumber, who's wonderful, and he said um, it's probably going to be easier. To, to repair the shower instead of replace the shower because in order to replace the shower we'd essentially have to completely redo the entire shower enclosure because the holes in the wall are to suit are suited to the particular shower that we have so yep. it was like right okay um and he said to contact this place called the shower doctor which strangely enough coincidentally edinburgh's come back into conversation again because this company called the shower doctor who can supply parts for aging showers like mine are based in edinburgh um so I contacted them, I gave them, I took a photograph of my shower, sent it to them via WhatsApp, and within two and a half minutes, the wonderful lady at the end of the phone said, oh yeah, 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 we've got, we can, we've got this, this, that you need this, this and this. And I was like, are you kidding me? And she was like, no, no, I know what you're doing, this is the one you need. And I was like, how have you been able Legend. to... Literally, like there wasn't a case of, oh, I'm not too sure, but there wasn't any tutting and any, oh, I don't know, it might take us a while to find out what shower it was. It was like, no, here you go, these are the parts you need, just do this, this is the part number, and bing, bing, bing. And I was like, wow, you're a legend. I love the added accent, it's making well, the story even more interesting. There you go. Um, <laughs> so, for, for instead of forking out hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pines uh, to employ somebody to come and replace my shower, it cost 200 quid for a new... Uh, a new thermo cartridge and a new a new flow cartridge which comes in which is there's two of them uh, plus next day delivery um, it was literally on my doorstep the very next day so we got the plumber around who fitted them all in less than 40 minutes so it was quicker and easier to repair the shower than it was to replace it um, but when he took it apart he established that the flow side of it on the right hand side has a goddamn gearbox it's got cogs and splines and there's two cogs and they're worn essentially because they're very old and they, it has a clutch system it's got a clutch system like a golf gti has a clutch system my shower has a clutch system can you believe it no i i what were they thinking well i don't know i mean it's a, it's a you've heard of the brand ideal standard they're one of the biggest bathroom product manufacturers probably in the world they're massive they still make stuff today uh you know you, you, we've all you must have seen a toilet that says ideal standard on it. I can't say I look at oh, the maybe, maybe. toilets often. Well, it's, it's literally in writing on the top of the toilet in italics. Anyway, you probably wouldn't have seen it because of your Egyptian cotton hanging down all over the place. <laughs> oh, do they not have them in five-star hotels? No, darling? well, no. I might not know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a good I'm point, actually. Obviously joking. Posh sod. <laughs> um, um, but, um, yeah, bottom line is... Um, this wonderful Bottom person. Bottom line, mind the pun. <laughs> hey, you're on the bloody ball here today, you Whit Mrs. Pills. SG. Wit pills. They're still kicking in, aren't they? Um, what am I doing? Cultivator. Um, so he fitted all these parts for me and he said, he said it looks like there might still be a couple of parts that uh, might need replacing because these, uh, these, these cogs and splines are a bit worn. So I was like, Seriously? okay. So, but it, I mean, he, to give him his dues... Oops, I've just driven into our water tanker. Um, he, the shower was repaired and it worked for like a day. And then it stopped working again. And I was like, oh, what? And I knew it was because technically it hadn't been properly fixed. There was still parts that needed replacing. So um, I have been without a shower. We've got a bath, don't get me wrong. But I'm six foot five and I don't Same. fit in the bloody bath. 
so it's just been a bit of a pain in the arse having to go a walk over to mum's have a shower oh yeah you have to um, walk so far oh i know it's such a you know such a uh, walk uh, back in your dressing gown and everything Oh no, I just full man points it, mate. I just wrap myself up in a towel and walk out in my flip flops like I'm walking out of a caravan. And just walk <laughs> walk down the garden, come rain or shine, go for a shower and walk back and get changed in the house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How the That's other hilarious. half live, darling. Oh yes. In the mean in the I meantime you're you counting your bloody thread count on your Egyptian cotton pillowcase. And yes. I'm, and I'm walking to my mum's in the rain in a shower with a towel around my waist. Looking like a full-blown pikey. <laughs> well, at least it's at least you've got a roof over your head. I yeah, suppose that's I one know. thing. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I you mean, I, I have to say, like, I think last time we talked about this, I told you the story about the boiler going, which of oh, course, yeah. when the boiler goes, your shower goes, because we got a combi boiler. Yep. Yep. So everything's just. Yeah. Nope. No water. No nothing. No heating. Not a happy Abbey. Not a happy Abbey, no. <laughs> no. So you just wrap yourself oh, up say. in your Egyptian cotton bed sheets and just yeah, go to sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here, thread count. I need my thread count. I need my threads. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Leg Absolutely end, mate. Brilliant. Leg end. How are you doing over there in the big grass field, mate? I should be done within the next few minutes. This is going like a going like clockwork. It really is, actually, from over here. I can see. I must admit, I'm. I. I think I'm. I'm very much like you in that respect. I much prefer to lime first and then fertilise to get rid of the white. Yeah, the white annoys me. Yes. And also, it's a good indicator of where you need to go. Yes. Yeah. Very much so. Yeah. Completely agree. It's very satisfying. Just it watching is. That yeah. White little bits go. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm very impressed that you haven't gone, farmer Sim. How hmm. can I make a course play on this field? You've done it all yourself. I've done it all myself. Even though we've got course play running in the game now. We haven't done anything with it. <laughs> I just think whilst we're having fun talking, it would be a bit boring if we were just sitting here yeah. watching our tractors. Well, that's it. I suppose, I suppose the viewers would find it a bit... The banter's good. Yeah, the banter can be considered good, I hope. Um, just sitting Average by the field what, watching course play do its thing. Or are we just... Quite funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Maybe yeah. a Christmas <clears throat> episode or something when we're too... when we've had too many ports. Too many? I might have to do, er I might <laughs> have to do everything on course play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not allowed to drive to say five <laughs> sim, but two bottles of port. And I spilt some I on my expensive I can't drink and tractor, darling. <laughs> <laughs> drink and tractor. That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. Is that our field in front of us? That's not our field there, is it? I don't know where you are, so it makes it quite uh, hard to know what you're It does, doesn't about. it? Sorry, yeah, I'm just talking. Uh, oh, hey, yes. It... Uh, yes, that is. Oh, there's a, there's a couple Isn't of... Isn't that where we had the corn? Yeah, this has now got linseed in it. I, I, I was just noticing from my, uh, my cab, there's a couple of patches of weeds. But I think oh. that's where the weeder... Now this, that's, I oh, know, I know why that's happened. Because when we harvested that field after the corn, um, because we didn't have course play on it, and when I was running the weeder, there was no, the weeder didn't change the texture of the field. So I had no, I had no reference point to which bits I've missed or not, which was quite difficult. Um, we should be able to use the, the hoe in that. I'll go and have a look in a minute. I'll just finish this off, then I'll grab the hoe. Oh, well, well. I mean, it'll be interesting to see what what message we get in the bottom of the screen to tell us what tool to use, because the, crop, the crop's growing, it's in the ground, and the weeds are bigger than the crops. So it, oh, may, wow. it might okay. actually be herbicide only, in which case... We'd, it's, it, there's not a lot. It's not all over the field. It's just a couple of strips where I've clearly missed with the weeder in the initial... Let's uh, just have a look. It's one of those. Nothing to worry about. It's just, as I say, I just... Uh, caught it in my line of vision as I was uh, cultivating my way up the field. Not many. Hey. I'm sure I'm, I just had a look on the on the menu to look at the yeah yeah the map 
Yeah. So there's a sort of strip down the middle, then a few either side. So. Yeah, let's. Um, I'll check that out. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, field two. Yeah, there's a. Yeah, that's that's goodness me, that's shameful. I shall hang my head in shame. I've never I've never left a field looking so bad as that. Goodness me. Um. Surprise! It wasn't me that did it. <laughs> well, it's. I'm, uh, I'm this, the. Uh, lip the one that normally leaves massive strips of stuff. <laughs> Leave every field with a Brazilian. Or two. <laughs> Leave every field with a Brazilian. <laughs> yes. It adds character. Yeah. <laughs> character building fields. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a great yield when you've got good character. <laughs> if you say when so, you mate. Know. If you say so. I take it you're probably going through a lot less fertilizer than you were lime. Yeah, tiny amounts. Yeah, yeah. Did we, did we have any? Did we have plenty of that in the, in your little, um, your little emporium? Plenty. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't even use it all, and I've still got eighty-one percent in here at the moment. Oh, decent. Good stuff. So all good. Good. Frost doesn't need much fur, does it? No, it doesn't. No, you're right. Actually, um, just a sprinkle. Hmm. Indeed. It's just good to get it done. So if we can get decent yield off of here, oh yeah, this definitely is money right here. Mm. And one of the things that I'd very much uh, like your permission to spend eighteen thousand five hundred pounds on, uh, if you wouldn't mind, when I eventually put the mod into the, onto the server, is a it's a wonderful little bale picker upper um, that I have just I've actually just bought it for my other court farm series. Um, it's an eight eight bale round bale picker at upper um sounds it, great and Do it's, it. it's awesome the, the base game ones are, they're, they're really quite big and they're about 90 grand yeah um huge. this huge one's and expensive yeah excuse me i've got the hiccups um yeah this one's 18 and a half grand um it's wonderful so it would save and it obviously it picks them all up and it stacks them in a nice neat pile of like two rows of four so oh that's perfect yes it is rather good so I may well install that mod onto the server and I'll send it to you as well so that you will it well. Yes, I'll put it in the folder. Indeed. You'll have to uh, pop it into your mod folder. Um, but yeah, it's I'm awesome. going to be lazy and keep the fertilizer in here. Is that all right with you? Uh, oh, you mean, yeah, well, yeah. What, why? What else would you do with it? Well, I'll empty it and put it back in the thingy mob be, but... Oh, sod that. No, no, just leave it where it is until we need to... We don't need to use much, do much with the like, with the fertiliser spreader for now, do we? No, I think everything's had a coat. Yeah, I think it has. Even this field has, in fact. Let's just check that. Um, yeah, pH value is perfect. The nitrogen is... Uh, the nitrogen is just the nitrogen because there's now no crop in the field. Um, the weeds are gone, so that's all nice. thoroughly excellent. Um... So yeah, no, no, just leave, leave, yeah, leave it where it is, mate. It's no, no, uh, no dramas, mate. No dramas. No drama. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna go and have a look at this field. Oh, this is looking beautiful. It's looking lovely, isn't it? Ooh. Look at you there, <laughs> like the speedy Gonzales. Nip, nip. It's looking gorgeous. Oh yeah, I can see the Brazilian. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah. What does it say we need? I'm, I'm assuming it's herbicide. I... Oh, is it? No. Yep, they're medium, so we can do a hoe. Have we got a hoe? We do indeed. I'll get attached up and sort it. I ah, see what you did there. What's that? Weed, do indeed. I didn't even, do you didn't didn't see even it. see it. I know, didn't you didn't. see the pun. No, you didn't. I did. That um, was funny and I didn't even know it. <laughs> um, Jump back in this beauty. I suppose that won't take long, and then I suppose looking at the time of this here video my friend we're at 54 minutes so your challenge if you choose to accept it is to get is to get the hoe down in six minutes or five <laughs> minutes and 34 seconds yes challenge accepted challenge, my friend challenge accepted yeah yeah dan 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 crash <laughs> <laughs> just at that moment yeah yeah <laughs> Brilliant. I went straight into the weeder. Oh, please tell me you actually crashed. I did. Oh, you legend. Moment. 
you legend. <laughs> like we planned that little sketch. Oh, mate, honestly. That was an unplanned funny moment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> brilliant. Right, how Utterly brilliant. How do you get? Here, how do you? How do you get to what again? Oh, the field. Yeah, you need to go up through the grass fields that want. I think the one that was, the pig field. The pig. Yeah, go up through that one. Yeah, and then there's the. I think it's that one. It's got a gate at the end of it. We're about to find out. Yeah. Entering said field. Oh, there we go. You now at? Oh, you're at four minutes and twenty three seconds. Oh gosh. Dan, 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 crash into the gate. Dan, Dan, Dan. <laughs> no, I did it this time. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> now you'd be right. <laughs> I haven't actually watched a new Mission Impossible. I, I have it on my computer here. Yeah, I need to watch it. I've got so many films I need to watch, actually. I haven't watched a good film. I've been... Um, me and Mrs. Farmer Sim have been uh, we've been doing a Star Wars a thon uh, for, for quite a while now. At the minute, I'm uh, halfway through Rogue One. Oh, love Rogue One. So it's much. an amazing film. It's an absolutely incredible film. It's the not. Banger. Yeah, even though it wasn't, it's it's still Star Wars and it's still officially Star Wars, I suppose. But it's the only that one and Solo, a Star Wars story, are the only two films that don't start with the traditional. Da -da, you know, with the the text flying off into space because that was it wasn't done by George Lucas essentially. That's why it apparently oh, doesn't have the really? same. Yeah, it's still it's still affiliated with Lucasfilm and it's still licensed to. I mean, because I mean, Darth Vader's in Rogue One. You know, it's it's yeah. and the characters and stuff and the characters in Rogue One are uh, Cassian Andor and, and a couple of the characters who are in the original. Uh, sorry, the Disney. TV show Andor. That's Cassie and Andor, who's the main one of the main characters in Rogue One. It's pre Rogue One. Andor is the TV show. It takes place literally just before. Just Rogue before it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't watched Andor yet. Oh. That is one. That is on my to do. It's very good, mate. It's very good. The whole lot's very good. It's it's wonderful. It really is. I'm uh, quite a Star Wars fan, I must say. It's. Uh, yeah, me too, my friend. Mm. So I highly recommend Andor. Um, and have you done Obi Wan Kenobi yet? Not yet. Oh God, it's damn it! On the list. God, I've got damn! There's so much good TV. Mm. It's like, where do you start? At the beginning. At the beginning, <laughs> like you did. Yeah, yeah. Right, let's check. All weeds gone. Oh mate, you did it! Really? Did it? You did it with exactly the two minutes left. Literally, nice. we're at fifty-eight minutes now. Fifty-eight and two. Four, five. Very well done. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted and achieved. And boss. I, I, went, I went and assessed it first to make sure I think I could do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You didn't miss, you didn't miss much. Is this... You alright? Yeah, just every time I drive, mm -hmm. I'm getting weird is it animation. Like, is it wobbling a bit? It <laughs> For want of a better adjective. You're going to have to watch my video. It looks like every time I drive, there's like particles coming off of the off the metal, the hooks. What? Yeah, it looks creepy. Off the weeder that you off the, the weeder. Off the yeah. Even now. Even now. Oh, it's just stopped. Nope, it's going again. Try. Just All right, I'm going to take a picture of it. Hang on. Come, come to a stop and disconnect and reconnect the tool and see if that does anything. Yeah, I'm just taking a picture for you so you can see it. Okay. There you go, because you won't see it until Friday. Okay. Right, I'll disconnect the tool. Okay, I've got it here now. Let's have a look. Just random, like, oh, yeah. floaty. It's like, it's like loads of wet soils got stuck in all the tines of the machine, and it's all... That looks weird, doesn't it? proper weird but disconnecting it's actually worked so oh did it yeah made it sound like i know what i was talking about doesn't it you that do was... know what you're talking about i've got shut a bloody up, clue up. mate <laughs> <laughs> yeah turn it off and on again we're experts here yeah <laughs> we know what we're doing no we don't 
Crash. We're, we're winging, yeah. We're winging it. Um, you know the saying, fake it till you make it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Mrs. Simgame, where are you actually? I'm going to I'm gonna come to a stop. I've not got very much left to do on this field. I've only got, uh, I suppose it would be considered quite a large Brazilian in this field. There's just a bit of a big strip down the middle, but... Um, I'm just putting the hoe back away. Oh, well, you, you, you put that away and then you come drive over here to me and I'll... Uh, when when you get here, oh, I will um, I'll come to meet you and I'll get out and we can uh, have a little chat, have a little natter, and say farewell to our wonderful viewers who put up with us for the last hour. Yeah, assuming they're still there and haven't gone. It could you know, be. You know it could what? be just me and you by now. I'm not talking to these pair of idiots talking about broken showers. <laughs> I'm with you, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. As in, I'm in your field. Oh, there you are. <laughs> there you are. Right. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Hello, mate. Strike a pose. Strike a pose. <laughs> da -ding. Da -ding. That's about da -ding. as much as you can do in this game, isn't it? It's like strike a, strike a pose. There you go. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I am looking down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bowing yeah. down to the mod gods. Anal I'm analysing the soil. That's yes. what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, mate. Right, ledge. ledge. That was awesome. It was awesome. It was rather cool. Um, we've got a bit further on. We've got... Um, I think this is our only field that doesn't have anything in it, isn't it? I yeah. think. And, Everything uh, else is good for winter. It I is. I don't know what we're going to do over winter. Maybe we can just Stay warm. Chill. Yeah. Yeah. In, in your two million thread count downy cover or whatever it is. Um, no, I don't... Yeah. Well, that, what, do, Downton Abbey style. Downton Abbey. Hello, darling. Yeah. Um, I tell you what we do we we do need to do actually and I've been we've been saying this for a few episodes now we need to do some contracts so that you can go and see some map we've only done our 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 uh, cotton ballet harvester thing that we did a couple of episodes ago which went completely That's down the fun, pan actually. when we made about four pounds after we realized that there was a problem with the uh, the sell point wasn't there yeah that um, was a bit pants but it was but it was fun it was fun it was fun because i've it's been a long time since i'd got in a cotton harvester so especially trying to thread them down the uh, the narrow lanes of court farms country park <laughs> um but yes yeah we need to do, we need to do oh there we go thread count yeah didn't you see whip pills they're on you they're still there <laughs> um yeah so anyway mrs sim gamer thanks for uh Thanks for a wonderful time, mate. I hope you all uh, hope you've all enjoyed the video. Yeah, and have a great rest of your weekend, whatever you're doing. Come Absolutely. rain or shine. Absolutely. Thank you for being here. Absolutely. Thanks again, everyone. And if you haven't already, if you're new to uh, either myself, my, this video here or Mrs. Sim Gamers on her side of things, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Give the video a like on both accounts if you can. If you've got any suggestions for either of us, please hit us up in the comments section below. Um. Yeah. What he said. What, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what he said. The YouTube thing. Like and subscribe. The YouTube stuff. Do the YouTube stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, well, mate. Catch you soon, everyone. Legend. See you next time. See you next time. Bye bye. bye. For now.